just run through it real quick, and this is my take on it. Stepping out of a white car. The name of the song is Window Seat. All right? I understand the esoteric meaning of what a uh, window is, and even the metaphysical meaning of what a window uh, stands for, whether you can see in or out of it. Stepping out of the white car, walking down the street in front of a whole audience of white people, undressing yourself, bearing your soul, all right? Walking into the 33rd parallel, getting shot, blue blood coming out of your body, and the blue blood spells uh, group think. A couple of seconds later, you're resurrected. All right? What does that mean to you? That's what it means to me, but I've been hearing commentary, commentary, and commentary. Are you following me? We have to understand something. Eric Badu has always been on the edge of being very artistic. Are you following me? I wasn't bothered by the naked body. I mean, were you? No. I wasn't bothered by that. I, <laughs> brother said a little. <laughs> brother, there's some condoms or something up here. We can probably give you something. But anyway, I'm saying I wasn't bothered by the naked body. What I was bothered by is something that Professor Kinsey over here mentioned on a panel discussion the other day. What is wrong with the black woman doing with her body what she sees fit with doing with her body. All these other years, all these other people, right, have done with their bodies what they want to do with their bodies. Little Kim had so much damn plastic surgery, I think she got a penis now. Are you following me? All of these people have done with their bodies what they want to do with their bodies. I dug Erica Badu's song, Bag Lady. Are you following? I love the artistic things that Erica Badu brings to the table. All right? But what I don't like is the early morning talk shows talking about her children, how many children she had by different men, and this kind of thing. This is what I don't like. Are you following me? Now, if we're not going to handle her artistic merit like we do everyone else's, I don't see anyone on there talking about, what's the man named that was getting his joint polished in the video? D'Angelo. Women, when y'all act like y'all ain't see the damn video. What was the name of the song? How does it feel? You seen it? All right, sister. <laughs> How does it feel? <laughs> don't worry about it. They see it too, but they just don't want to uh, say it. Are you following me? So we have to understand this particular dialect. I'm saying all that to say this. The camera panned up and showed all of the buildings in the 33rd parallel. How many people know what the 33rd parallel is? The 33rd parallel is that parallel where Kennedy got shot. Now, what is the significance between... Erica Badu getting shot, blue blood coming out of her, getting shot at the 33rd parallel. Did you think about this when you watched the video, or did you see just naked body? Are you following me? If you're sitting in this room watching this particular lecture right now, then you should have dealt with the hidden meaning behind what Erica Badu was talking about. She said she was petrified to do this particular video. She said she met with the brother that was going to shoot the video a day ahead of time, and she said that when the car pull up, start shooting. All right? After I fall down and get up, the video is over, and I'm only doing one take. Uh -huh. Are you following me? Yeah. Someone dropped dime on her. They came, and they arrested her for indecent exposure. Are you following me? Uh -huh. Now, mind you, did you see the beginning of the video where she said where she was taking this particular concept from? I believe it was two white women. Matt and Kim. Matt and Kim stripped naked where at the... Um, at Times Square in New York City. Are you following me? So we have to understand something. But look, it's giving way to this chick called Nicki Minaj, who's openly presenting this whole bisexual, trisexual agenda. <laughs> Call it trisexual, because now they're not only sleeping with the same sex, toys and animals, and they're introducing everything else to it. Are you following me? Thank you. This is what your young daughters are going up to become. Are you following me? Let's push forward. Please take a good look at this. Can you zoom on this? This is Erica Badu's plane ticket for her window seat, which is the name of the song. Now, those of you that are into numerology, look at the numbers. Do the science yourself. Are you following me? Well, get the DVD from Noah when I'm done with this, and you do the science. Or go on online and put in Erica Badu's um, ticket for window seat. Are you following me?
Erica Badu is trying to speak to he, her people in a very metaphysical kind of way. Please listen. Are you following me? Basically what she was saying, if you're part of the Blue Bloods and you're on, in that bloodline which Jay-Z and Barack Obama have lined themselves up with, all right, the White House don't mean the White House. That's the bloodline. Are you following me? The Blue Bloods. She says if you're a part of it, she's letting you know she's burying her soul and she's getting that blue blood out of her system. Are you following me? We have to understand it to that degree. Did y'all know that Jay-Z owns his own color blue? One person said, mm-hmm. One person. What's the purpose, though? Why? Are you following me? We got to dive into that. Whoever controls the image, controls the self-esteem, controls the self-respect, self-development, whoever controls the history controls the vision. Our good brother, Dr. Leonard Jeffries. Back in the day in hip-hop, we had queens. Are you following me? Now, every time I turn around, I see entertainers, especially black women, with their legs open. Any female rap groups today on the scene that we can respect, what are they doing? Are they doing this on purpose? Are you following me? So let's look at some of the entertainers. Who's this? Rihanna. Everywhere I turn, legs open. Are you following me? This is, this is Russell Simmons' uh, magazine, One World. This is Little Kim dressed as a Muslim on the cover, half naked. I didn't hear an outcry from the Muslim community. Did you? No one came against Russell Simmons. I call him Hustle Simmons. When Alicia Keys spoke out, she said gangster rap was a ploy to convince black people to kill each other. They came against Alicia Keys and shut her down. Are you following me? All right, brothers, over here. <laughs> over here, brothers. <laughs> These are those same 12 themes that you will see in every rap video. Are you following, brothers, over here? Are you following me? And this, they seem like they use this, they use this um, as though they mass emailed it to all the black record companies and executives and video producers. Are you following me? And you gladly, you gladly want to participate, sister. Now, this becomes your commercial when the, that signal goes out to the rest of the world. Imagine someone seeing this that can't speak English, that can't master words with the pitches. What do you become? You become a piece of meat, sisters. Am I right or wrong? And here, a sneaker ad, you objectify yourself for some breadcrumbs. Are you following me? How many people brought their little niece and nephew and Riri and Man Man and them the blinged out Barbie. This was actually a Barbie doll on sale. A blinged out ghettoized Barbie. Kiki Palmer, who starred in Aquila and the Bee, signed to Atlantic Records. This gentleman here said, unless she made songs like Little Kim, they would not promote her album. How many people seen the cover of her album last year? Go check it out if you get a chance to go online. This is what they were doing. They was trying to make little Kiki Palmer's into little Kim's and Janet Jackson and all these people. Take a good look, brothers and sisters. Every person in this particular slide is a woman. No, no, you better look again. Let me get out your way. All of these are women. This one right here look harder than me. It's like, yo, son, no, nah, me. <laughs> For real. <laughs> see, but you got to understand, you see them in the mall holding hands and kissing, but you don't want to say anything. Are you following me? How many people have heard, heard the comedic term ma'at? Truth, justice, balance, and reciprocity and order. Professor Kinsey had always said that we need to put the black woman back on the throne in hip-hop to balance hip-hop out. It would check all that testosterone. Are you following me? A man's mind is elevated to the status of the women he associates with. We laugh, but this is how they view you, sister. That this is all you are good for. Are you following me? And your man has ran off with the enemy. Yes, he has. The good, the good doctor that just spoke a few minutes ago mentioned that. Are you following me? And we have to understand that. Very real. So much so that when this particular lady from New Zealand fooled up for Kenyans um, 
is for dogs. Kenya needs all the help it can get during its current famine. Almost. An offer from New Zealand to send 42 tons of dog food to, the, to feed the starving population. This is how they view us. Are you following me? They view us as animals. To the point where they see us starving, they want to send us dog food. This is what the UN peacekeepers were doing to some of the sisters because they was hungry, coming to the US peacekeepers at night, and they had an article in the New York Times, they were trading sex for food because they were so hungry. One of the women had a baby, and the baby came out light-skinned. The UN peacekeepers were raping them. Are you following me? When they didn't cooperate, they would burn them alive. I don't hear the rappers rapping about that. It says the America that I believe in does not torture people. They're right.